Hey everybody, so I hope you're having a really brilliant day. Today you join me in my bedroom where my wardrobe is and we're gonna do the summer wardrobe audit. I'm so excited to be back doing this again. I really enjoyed doing the autumn winter wardrobe audit and sharing that with you guys and you guys seem to enjoy watching it as well. I'm gonna do pretty much the same as I did in that video. I'm gonna go through, take everything out, put everything back in again. Hopefully there'll be less to get rid of this time. Actually, after the last video, I went back through the wardrobe. I was having one of those days where I was just like, oh, why did I buy this? It just doesn't look right. I'm trying to be somebody else in this. And I got rid of all those things that I thought were like fashionable or trendy or was trying to be a version of me that just isn't me. And I was just able to hone in a bit more after doing that video on exactly what my style is. Now, I'm still not there. It's definitely still a journey. I was desperate as well last time. I was in this wardrobe that you see here, there. That is now my things, just in there. And over in that wardrobe, my husband's wardrobe, that is only his things. Half of that last time was just my coats. So I have got my wardrobe down to a much more sensible, manageable quantity. So it should be easier to go through today. I did change over my summer boxes already. Of course, it's July. I did it a couple of months ago. I just put my winter woolens and my coats back in the boxes and got out all my like camisoles and dresses and light jackets and put those in the wardrobe. In England, the weather has been kind of sort of very English. It has been kind of more like spring and autumn, if I'm being truly honest, although today is actually quite a warm day as I'm filming this. And I think the next week is supposed to be quite warm. So perhaps I'll actually finally get to wear the truly summer items that I have. But lots of the things that I have are really just layering pieces. Also today, I think I'm gonna go through my quarantine section, which is where I've kept everything that I just have probably got too much sentimental attachment to, to have thrown away. See if I can get rid of any of those things, see if any of them need to go back in the wardrobe. Also, I have a lovely cup of chamomile tea to keep me, you know, nice and chill. The other thing I do have is a trusty notepad and pen because as I'm going through my wardrobe, there are various sort of holes I see in my wardrobe or things I've got one of that I would like two of or like to keep my eye open for. And so I write them down so that I've got a much more curated list of things, not that I'm allowed to buy, but like I could keep my eyes open for if I find a good deal on or I could think about making something, etc. Right, I think we should just go for it and start somewhere. Let's start with jackets. So jackets and cardigans, super easy. I only got rid of that one cardigan and that is because I've just looked at it. It's not got as much love and interest as all the other ones. I had a nice kind of mm, feeling with everything else and that one just made me go, oh. That's gone in the no pile and I will get on to tops.
Okay, tops, tricky. There's a lot of really practical long sleeved layering things in there, which actually I probably wear more of in the winter. And there's a definite load of transitional items in there. So kind of spring, autumn things that work really, really well in the wardrobe. There's a couple of fancier kind of tops and shirts, blouses that I don't wear all that often, but I really, really love. And again, for like more formal occasions, which I don't have all that much, they're fantastic. So now on to dresses. So as you can see, I've got quite a few dresses. I really love to wear dresses. There's not that many winter dresses in my wardrobe. So that's something I would like to expand on, like kind of warmer autumn things. There's a lot of sunny sum summer dresses, which actually I think as I wear them throughout hopefully some warmer days, I'll find out which ones I find really comfortable, which ones I really like to wear and which ones are not as comfortable or not as practical or just don't feel like me when I wear them and those I can go on and redonate. Right, this is what it now looks like in my wardrobe. It's still full, but it's not rammed. I've only got rid of a couple of things. And like I say, I think as I wear things, I'm really conscious of whether something feels like me or not. Obviously don't need anything in the blouses, dresses, jackets department at all at the minute. So nothing to write down on the list. And up here are kind of, well, jumpers, cardigans, longer warm tops. And I did get rid of some jumpers, I think, in the winter, but most of them went back in the box. These are really the cross seasonal ones, mostly cotton. Those are all cotton there. Some are wool tensile mix. I love those. They're very breathable and they're really good for cross season, like mid season dressing. So that's wool tensile. And then I got these wool tensile tops as well. These are my two crochet cardigans. I actually wore those a lot in spring. They're fantastic to throw over on a kind of chilly evening. And then just a couple of other kind of warm long sleeve tops. Probably won't be wearing those for the next couple of months, but I will just leave them in the wardrobe there. The only thing that I can see is that that might be useful to hang up. So I might do that because that's like a kind of summer evening layer piece. That might be good.
So skirts, shorts, trousers, that was quite easy. There's ones I just don't wear. They're pretty or they've got sentimental attachment or they're ones I have fixed and therefore wanted to hold on to because of the time put into it but actually I just don't wear them so there's really no room for things I don't wear in my wardrobe. So now onto these jeans and trousers that I've got out. This is a kind of area I actually don't reach for very much and I've probably got too many pairs of jeans. I think I probably need another jeans try on. I will, I will have a look and work out which ones I know are comfortable and then I'll put the ones I don't really reach for in a separate pile and try those on. So I know for a lot of people that denim is a major staple and they basically only wear denim, but it would seem I actually only have one proper pair of denim and I kind of don't really wear them very much. I do find things around my waist really restrictive. I don't know if anyone feels that way. It feels kind of like a corset, but I also, the only pair of jeans I have that I've got that I've kept that are really comfortable are like kind of low rise. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try these on. I know one pair is stretchy, um, but yeah, I really just like kind of loose, flowy, kind of baggy things, I guess. Maybe that's just more me. But it'd be good to keep one pair of jeans. I realise I have got every single shade of denim here. I've got like black, beige, dark wash, mid wash, light wash. So I think I've already kind of narrowed it down, but I think I need to narrow it further because I just don't wear them. I think I'm probably more likely to wear the blue ones, but we'll try them on and see. My trying on just makes me so tired. It's very physical getting in and out of clothing. So it turns out I'm really not a denim person. I really don't like anything holding my tummy in. I know other people are going to think that's great, but I just don't like the idea of being constricted in my body really much at all. I like a, like a nice loose tie to define my waist, but not like in. <laughs> just not my thing. So light tops, camisoles, t-shirts, that's what's next.
So I've got these two tops, which I love both of these so much, but they're not either of them entirely practical. Nor do I ever quite know what to wear this one with, but they're both cotton or linen and I really like them. So what I'm gonna do is put them somewhere that I see them over the next few weeks and see if I cannot try and wear them. And if I really can't find a way to wear them that I enjoy or it just doesn't feel like me, I will just get rid of them. I've just had a quick look through my kind of fancy occasion wear and that sort of section is like in getting smaller and smaller and smaller obviously with covid we didn't go out at all so i've just got rid of one dress that i don't really love as much as the rest Okay, I'm pretty tired it's been a while so I have only got like three random things that probably shouldn't have been in there kind of there's this top that I bought on eBay I was hoping it would be more brown and it's kind of more terracotta but actually I really like the color it just sort of kind of looks like a cheap brown and it's a bit small but I'm gonna see if I can put it in an outfit and actually I think it would go with these silky um, fat face kind of summer bottoms I think those are go real cute together so I'm gonna try and wear that on a kind of more chill day at home and see how I feel I'm not sure why those ones were in there I think I must have thrifted them in the winter and just they ended up there I haven't worn them yet so those are cute and this is a hand-me-down I think my great aunt made and I think it is acrylic it's an acrylic knit but it's so beautiful I have worn it a couple of times I'm just never quite sure where to keep it because it's like a light spring knit and I don't really have a section for that okay so this section is looking pretty good I think the only thing I'd be interested in getting is maybe another maxi skirt and some more wide leg trousers because I honestly wear both of those so much I've got plenty of shorter skirts and knee length skirts but that would be something interesting the only other thing I would love in this bottom section is a pair of short pajamas which I'm actually making but I kind of got halfway and my sewing machine broke so I'm just waiting for that to be fixed and then I can finish them up and hopefully they will fit and look great they're really cute like pink and purple so this has arrived and absolutely rammed full of things that I have kept because they have been like amazing unique finds in charity shops really amazing vintage finds but just things I cannot bear to part with but I do need to go through it because it is kind of out of control and just see whether there's anything that I could possibly part with in there let's have a quick look okay so that was kind of weird I've got like a pile of stuff to keep and a pile of things to throw away so let me now just take you through all the things I'm keeping in that box there's a couple of things I've actually put back in the cupboard and I'll show you those as well
And then last, but by no means least, is this lovely dress from Toast, which I bought a million moons ago. And I do believe they've got like a swap system in some of their stores. So I'm gonna set that aside to take and see if I can do a swap because it's in perfect condition, but it's just more like office wear the weight of it is lovely it's a perfect kind of winter office shift dress but i just don't wear it let me show you the pile of things leaving us today so that's it i feel like actually not all of that is going i need to try a couple of the things at the bottom on because i didn't already but the things at the top i pretty much have all tried them on but yeah that is the pile for the day it always is a good feeling to get rid of a few more bits that have just been cluttering up the space and helping you well not helping you rather see what you actually have so there you go that is my wardrobe order i feel great i feel even better when bits are in charity shops or on ebay or whatever i choose to do or actually i give quite a lot away to friends and family so yeah i hope you found that really interesting i love doing this because it reminds me of everything that i have in my wardrobe which is always more than i need it reminds me I don't need to go and buy new things, but it also keeps fresh in my mind what I do have, which is so, so important because then I am I can think of new outfit ideas, remember pieces, things like that lovely vintage top, find different ways of wearing that. would be so lush to wear this time of year. But also, as I learned last time I did a wardrobe audit, from this point on, I'm likely to be much more ruthless over the next couple of weeks of when I'm wearing things. I'll be a lot more experimentative, experimentative um, with the things I've got, try them out, and then there'll probably be a reasonably high pile of things that actually, you know what, they're not comfortable, or it's a bit too trendy, or it just doesn't fit, like it's too harsh for a fabric, or it's too masculine of a cut, for example. I also have just so many ideas for things to make, so I'm going to make sure that's written down on my list. Just so many ideas. Obviously I've got pyjamas on the go. I've got a couple of dresses that I have made, one pattern which I love and actually wear all the time, so I might seek out some slightly more expensive fabric that kind of goes better with the things in my wardrobe and will last longer. And make that pattern again and I've got a crochet top which I'm working on but it's taking forever because it's really tiny stitches hopefully that will be finished by maybe at the end of the year I'm hoping it's the I'm hoping the pace like starts to ramp up at some point if I've never said this to you if you are doing a wardrobe audit and you don't feel cute to begin with stop Make sure you go, do your makeup, put on a cute outfit, feel good because then you'll only want to keep things in your wardrobe that fit the way that you feel that day. So important. So that was basically my whole wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.